Just like the people who are seated here around me today, around these rather unusual tables, these are the Alfisti who worked uh, on the meter, who produced the meter. So I'd now like to introduce them. The first and the youngest of them is the meter's uh, designer, Manuel Diaz. Good evening. Manuel comes from Argentina. And uh, when we started the presentation, he was telling me that he has always been an alpha fan ever since he was a kid uh, in his uh, country. And then I'd like to introduce another person who made available uh, the full of his experience uh, and his skills um, for this project, which is uh, such an authentic Alfa Romeo project. I'm sure many of you are already acquainted with him, Mauro Pirallini. And uh, he's uh, known as the uh, father of the panda and also of the Cinquecento. And uh, he gave us a hand in this wonderful project of ours. Uh, I also like to introduce Sergio Crevero, who is uh, the uh, man in charge of Alfa Romeo marketing. And he'll be back later to tell us something more about the sales uh, launch of the uh, project of the Mito. So, Back to being uh, alpha, that's our goal. And on uh, June 24th, 2010, when we'll be celebrating Alfa Romeo Centenary, we'd like to see Alfa Romeo back uh, where it belongs with the renown it deserves. Obviously, this uh, centenary celebration is going to be held here in, Tur in Milan. Uh, it's only right that it should be so, and I can tell you that ahead of time. And uh, today uh, we're here to talk about the Mito. Uh, uh, we're not uh, going to be talking about uh, what uh, Alfa Romeo's future three years hold. Perhaps we can uh, talk about that over dinner. But what I can tell you is that over the coming three years, we'll have more new Alfa Romeo products than uh, the ones we've had over the last 10 years. So that's the commitment we're making. And we'll be attacking uh, important segments. We'll be doing it with um, new uh, engines, uh, models, transmissions, uh, no longer conceived uh, in uh, just European terms, but uh, we'll be uh, thinking in terms of products and engines uh, that uh, are worldwide products. Uh, because we want Alfa Romeo to get back to being a global brand. And the real point of all this is that we'll be making real Alphas. And uh, that means uh, there'll be cars with uh, Alphas essential styling. We'll have great attention given to the right to weight to power ratio. The engines will be compact but powerful. And uh, the cars will uh, deliver technical features that will be made in Alfa Romeo, uh, the proprietary technical features that have been a hallmark of Alfa Romeo's past. And uh, I think at this point, it's the right moment to introduce another important member of our team, and uh, that's... Uh, the person who's uh, been in charge of uh, all the uh, car testing and uh, dynamic systems. Uh, uh, Philip Krief comes from uh, Marseille. He's been working with us for over 10 years now, so you certainly have done some mileage with Alfa Romeo. And then I'd like to introduce Dario Sacco, who is uh, our engine specialist. Uh, Dario has uh, worked in the past in the Delta Integrale team up to 92. He was also in charge of the V8 and V12 engines of Ferrari. And so he has a, a rather clear approach uh, to engine making. And the interesting thing is, uh, as I was saying earlier, uh, what we want to do is to make real Alfa Romeos. Uh, the point is that it's something we can already deliver today. What I described earlier is something we already have in hand. Take the 8C Competizione, for instance. It was decades we hadn't turned out a supercar. And then one day, after 40 years, one day we woke up and produced one of the most beautiful, powerful, and 
desirable supercars in the world. Alpha symbol, a concrete proof that we know how to make beautiful cars. And with the uh, 8C, the 8C, we really pulled the alpha spirit, the real alpha spirit, out of the uh, back uh, drawer and proved it still worked, uh, not only technically but commercially too, because uh, I must tell you that when we launched uh, the coupe and the spider versions, all the great uh, world uh, car collectors uh, were competing one uh, with the other to have one of these cars in their garage and we had uh, requests uh, for up to three, four times what we actually produced and it wasn't all that obvious that this was going to happen and so what we've now decided is to apply this uh, very same approach to all our models. And the Alfa Romeo Mito is the first of our cars based on this approach. I don't want to go into uh, over lengthy introductions and descriptions. I'd rather show you a video which uh, I find absolutely stunning. It was filmed on uh, one of the most beautiful roads in the world, and that is the uh, Stelvio Pass uh, uh, Road, uh, which is uh, something of a tradition for Alfa Romeos, too.